Welcome back to Creasonomics with your host, Mr. Gray. I just want to apologize for the long, long absence. I've pretty much just been living life and wearing my sneakers. But once again, I do miss you guys, and I'm just glad to be able to come to you today and give you guys what I think is some important information. So um, we all were aware, or some of us were aware, that there was going to be a um, Nike Off-White Dunk release um, this year, or we were hoping this year, um, from um, Mr. Ablo. And we are going, it sounds like that's what we're going to get, but it's a lot different from what we originally thought. So we thought it was going to be dubbed the 20 because we thought 20 sneakers were going to drop. Well, lo and behold, it's the 50. He's dropping 50 dunks. I'm assuming they're not going to all drop this year, but there's a good chance that they could. Either way, they're slated to at least start releasing this summer. Um, the interesting thing about the release is that... Um, they're all pretty, pretty similar. I mean, the the colorway for 48 of 50 of them is a um, sale in neutral gray. Um, so, of course, there are some differences. The, um, the, the main differences are, let's see, um, the tongue. So the insole, the insole and the tongue, they share the same color on each sneaker. Um, every sneaker has a different color in these in these areas. So you have the tag. You have the um, the insole, you have the tongue, and then you also have like a, um, a a plastic rubberized piece on the side of the sole. And uh, well, also then there's that small piece of material that's on the side of the Nike swoosh. So of course on every sneaker that is pretty much different. But other than that, as far as the colorway of the actual sneaker, it's um, pretty much the same through every sneaker. Now. One thing they did, um, they did do was they did switch up the, um, the material a bit, which is, be honest with you, I don't know about you guys, I have dunk fatigue already, but this is off-white dunk fatigue. I understand that people are hungry for off-whites, but this here is still a little bit fatigue-ish, if you ask me. So... Let's just go through them, and then at the end, I'm going to tell you which ones I know are going to probably be the most valuable and probably the most um, limited. So anyway, 1 through 10 is a mix of um, leather and canvas. Um, 11 through 20, and oh, just to add, on that little rubberized piece on the sole is going to let you know what number of the shoe you have. So if you have um, the one that came out as 13, it'll say 13 or 50. All right, so anyway. Then uh, uh, sneakers 11 through 20 will be, they will have hairy suede in leather. Then come around to sneakers 21 through 30, you have, there'll be a mix of leather and canvas. Then you get to sneakers 31 through 40, you have another mix of hairy suede and leather. And as, and then finally you get to 41 and 50. And again, you have another mix of leather and canvas. So the colorway is pretty much the same through and through for each shoe, but the material changes and then the small details, as I said, like the insoles, the tongue, the tag, and the piece of material that hangs off the back of the swoosh, and, oh, my bad, and the rubberized piece on the side, that changes on each. But those are very small, minute details um, for them to be able to sell you the same shoe over and over, and it will sell out over and over as guaranteed because that's what typically happens. It's still interesting because I, like I said, I have dunk fatigue, but I am here for two of these shoes. One of 50, one of 50. That's the one that is, as pretty much that breaks the pattern. It's all white at the top or sale, but the, the, um, sole is yellowed. That one, I promise you is going to be limited and that is going to be a top. That's going to be a, a it's going to be limited and it's going to be highly sought after. All of them will, but this will be at the top. And then the next one that will be at the top will be the 50 of 50, which is all black with a silver swoosh. Um, that also, I promise you, will be limited because um, those are the only two that sway from the main colorway of numbers, what, two through 49. Um, other than that, they're all basically similar as you, as I have showed you here today. So, um, I'm slightly excited. I'm really more excited for one of 50 and 50 of 50. That's all I need as far as I'm concerned from this whole release. If I get those, if I get those two, 
I've done what I needed to do this year. Oh, and lastly, I did not do a review on this because I got it from, I did get it from my pre-order through Zeta Kicks. And since I got it so late compared to all the people who really did get it, like on time, like from good old Marcus who likes the back door. I did not decide to do a review because there's so many reviews that are already out there from months ago that I felt like me reviewing it is kind of pointless. But I can still stare at it and fall in love with it. This this for me is, sorry, I did segue from the dunks because like I said, I have dunk fatigue and I hope you do too because they're, they're, it's just too many. It's way too many. So I am segueing now to the next topic. I consider these, I'm not doing a review on them, I consider these similar to an ice shoe. When I say an ice shoe, I wear all types of colorways of my shoes, but these here, these here, I kind of keep on ice. Um, I wear them eventually, but my Chicago colorway shoes, they don't come out as much as all my other different shoes do. It's something about them that's different. For some reason, I'm preserving them. What am I preserving them for? I don't know. Let's just hope I don't die before I get to wear them. Um, sorry, I shouldn't say stuff like that. Anyway, guys, I guess this video was primarily to talk about the dunks, and we have talked about them. Um, let, hopefully, they do release this summer as slated. There's been no specific date given. Of course, Nike has the uh, they have the ability to move dates as much as they want. So right now, the sticking date is summer. That's it, and hopefully, we can start getting them out then. Um, being that one of 50 is one, I'm hoping we get that first. And if I can get that, I will be a very happy man. So I just want to say good luck to the rest of you guys. And hopefully you guys can get them too. Um, of course we all won't. Um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. I just want to ask you to like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Um, I do love it when you guys check me out. I love it when you guys drop me comments, definitely when you like, but anyway, um, once again, I just want to thank you for tuning in. Mr. Gray out.